Welcome to Metal World Top 5. This video is about 5 unexplained weather phenomena. First up, we have non-aqueous rain. This is when something rains from the sky, which isn't water. The most usual case of this is raining fish. Though the exact cause of it is unknown, it is believed that at least several of these accounts may be caused by water spout. These water spouts may have sucked up the fish and other species into high altitude and released them upon their dissipation. Still though, this has never been observed and as such is still just a theory as to why this seems to happen. Fire Tornado Also known as Fire Devil, Fire Whirl, or even Fire Twister, it is a whirlwind induced by fire which is made of flame. Fire tornadoes may occur when intense rising heat and turbulent wind conditions combine to create whirling eddies. These eddies can contract into a tornado-like structure which sucks in burning debris and combustible gases. Sounds like a good sequel to the movie Twister to me. Next we have Blood Rain. Blood rain, also known simply as red rain, is a phenomenon in which red water falls from the sky in the form of rain. Reports of this have happened since as early as the 8th century BC. Most explanations can be attributed to red dust and microalgae. Still though, some of these cases are still unexplained, leading some to believe the discoloration may be due to extraterrestrial cells in the water. Ball lightning this is a rare type of lightning that has been spotted for centuries. Sometimes reported as a fireball, it is actually a large luminous spherical object which usually floats down from the clouds during a thunderstorm. This phenomenon was not considered real until experiments done in the 1960s which produced similar results. It is still unclear what natural processes go into effect to create this result. Ice bomb. I'm sure you've all heard of hail. Large golf ball or even softball sized ice falling from the sky. Ice balls on the other hand can be upwards of 50 pounds. Some of which are even stated to be the size of a car. These are also some of the rarest phenomenon with proof often melting away before it can be studied. Though not much is known about them, some theorists believe that these chunks of ice may fall off high altitude airplanes. There are problems with this theory as reports go back to before the 1800s. Also, in the cases where they could analyze the water from these ice bombs, they found out they did not have the characteristics of airplane wastewater. Alright, that's all for this episode of Top 5 Unexplained Weather Phenomenon. If you liked this video, please subscribe and feel free to share it with your friends. Have a nice day!